all that Geon Crawlers, like famous Wolfenstein 3, was inspiration for Team Think Tank Decoy software to create this game and I spent more than a few hours playing it, so I can tell you why I'm waiting for next big update. Uber Laufer, which means Renegade, is only VR title based on roguelike mechanic, where you play as prisoner, who oppose Nazis' actions and orders and what set finally to prison in some castle dungeon somewhere somewhere. A resistance team had enough time only to left you orders, pistol and unlock your cell. And you need to first complete tasks and then find exit. Small room, which is our starting place, contains available upgrades for next run, founded artifacts and even Doc Schnitzel. Schnitzel also is rebel like you because he didn't want to perform given orders, so he was thrown to the same place uh, as you. Lovely there. My grandparents had German Shepherd like this when I was small kid and it was one of my favorite dogs of all times, even if I don't remember him well, to be honest. And if I remember correctly, he was huge dog. But let's get back to Schnitzel, who is great companion in Uberläufe because he will grow if there will be nearby enemy and bark if enemies will be after us. Also, you can whistle to make him sit and stay or to make him follow us. And of course, you can pet him. So it's 10 out of 10 game. Anyway, after entering dungeon, we need to become sneaky and try to avoid being spotted. You can hide in broken walls and listen for enemy footsteps. And also it's better to knock them out from behind by hitting them with gun or object than shooting at them, unless you have silencer. You have around your health noise meter and it fills up with soldiers alarming and shooting at you or you at them or by just doing things like shooting cell locks to open gate. The more meter will be filled up, the bigger its chance to spawn as a group soldier sent to investigate the noise, which is us. And they are tougher enemies. Also, they use gas masks that allow them to spot us in hidings. So there is no point in hiding with them, to be honest, if they are after us. And I recommend to get rid of them um, with pistol. So, again. To prevent noise meter increasing, you have to knock enemies out silently and hide their bodies. You can do by dropping the body in some floor trap or in that cracks that in walls that you hide. You need to pick up them anyway to scavenge them for loot, so why not get rid of unnecessary evidence of your actions at the same time? Also, one thing I didn't knew about that, but you can hold tight yourself an A-body and use it as shell too. Uberläufer allows you to get rid of enemies without any contact, because you can throw coins or objects that will lure soldiers to fall in traps, even you can use helmets that some enemies drop to make this noise, or if they are in good condition, you can wear them, what gives you additional protection from one bullet. What is kinda funny that besides specific rooms, entire map layout is completely randomized, together with traps, secrets, chests, normal rooms and possible prisoners, but sometimes you can hear that someone fall into trap that you didn't even know that exists, but it saves you a lot of troubles of reading of that enemy. So besides erasing Nazi scams, you have to focus on finding special documents, and maps or doing some photos of places and things like secret codes in order to finish up tasks. My one of favorites is where you have to find projector and watch real short videos from war to get some code or information. I sent more than few ideas for creators and I got respond about few, so maybe I added something to game because I have fun crawling from room to room, looking for secrets and shortcuts, but I wish there would be more of this and more of possibilities and more of variety in a game. And if we talk about secrets, I need to tell you that some of them are easier to spot like shortcuts, 
that have small cracks in the wall that indicates that you can see what's behind it and broke it with gun or object or enemy body. In other places you can spot rare secrets that are behind few stone bricks, where I found one time pistol with silencer, and also in corridors you can spot a little bit different looking piece of wall and try to break it, where you will be able to get artifacts or ammo and food. So there's plenty of hidden places and secret stashes. In some rooms we can find Nazi flags or propaganda posters and I would love to be able to destroy them and found behind hole in wall with hidden stash or locket safe with code that we need to get somehow. That would be amazing. I love VR and that you can interact with things like this and I hope the game will gonna have more of it. Sometimes we need to use ladder to get to hidden chests, but I would also love to be able to use some pipes like you hang on and move to a proper direction to unlock something or get something or prepare ambush on an enemy. The next thing I would also love is to be able to solve simple puzzles in order to activate something or unlocking some stuff in accomplishment of tasks. So there is still many things that can be added. The game uses real-time music from War Era and in some places we can find radios that plays music or communicates of what's happening on battlefield. Even in metal lockers we can find some items with real pictures of some girls, also magazines from that time, so you can clearly feel the immersion. But let's get back to basic mechanics. Uberläufer is a VR roguelike game, so while playing you can obtain or unlock bonuses that can be used for future, but you obtain them currently by getting achievements. Some of them are fun, but some of them require a lot of playing because you need to get rid of X number of soldiers with specific weapon or in specific way. And I am sure there should be option to get more bonuses or there should be like a small, maybe passive bonuses that you can obtain normally, not only by achievements. We will see what's gonna be added in next updates for the game. So, Uber Lawyer is a very unique title that is different than many, even not VR shooters, because it's not Call of Duty action style game and of course something fresh on VR market. In the description there will be a link to the Steam page of the game and don't forget to subscribe for more videos about cool indie games. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.